Hey guys, so let's talk about a conjunction between um, Chiron and Lilith in synastry, of course. And um, so guys, this is like a relationship, okay? And one partner's Lilith is in conjunction with their partner's Chiron. So that means these two very, very special planets, you know, in brackets, <laughs> they are sharing a sign, you know. Now, what's special about these planets is that they are very similar, but at the same time, also very 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 different you know Lilith is that hmm naughty side or suppressed side that we all have deep within you know with some people it's um sexual energy that is suppressed or sexuality that is suppressed and with some people it could go as deep as being violent you know in a very gruesome gruesome um criminal way you know that's also lilith because it's an energy that is um, accepted as dark or that is deemed as dark by the society. Actually not accepted. Sorry, let me just correct myself. It's not accepted by the society, this energy. So yeah, with some people it could go as, you know, um, dark as you know doing like criminal things like rape or like um i don't know like being a serial killer <laughs> so those are like the vibes around lilith but in, in a normal life really we see this expression um, or this inhibit, in, inhibited expression, or rather, uh, in a form of, you know, sexuality. That's like the common, the very, very common way where people are not ex able, where people are not able to express, you know, their sexual desires um, freely or just be freaky, <laughs> you know. And then on the other hand, you have Chiron. And Chiron is just like, um, like a nurse, basically. But like a nurse who's going to have to be um, very rough on your wound before you, you, you really get the healing part, you know. You know how... Um, you go, for example, for those um, uh, Chinese massages where they um, puncture, you know, your back and, you know, with the needles, okay? So that's painful. Of course, that process of having those needles uh, stuck on your back. But once that process is done you are healed and you feel good and renewed okay so that's what chiron does chiron comes and touches you know your wound in the most uncomfortable way but when it's touching that wound it's actually healing it you know you're being healed so that's why a lot of Astro astrologers um, call Chiron, you know, the wounded healer because, you know, 
you are going through the pain while 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 you're healing if that makes sense you know you feel the process and you are deeply in pain but at the same time you're healing your karmic wounds so basically that's what's happening now so these two planets are coming in together in the form of these partners in this um, relationship so we are anticipating of course that there will be a lot of healing a lot of healing in this um relationship but you guys the healing is going to be very uncomfortable very disturbing um particularly you know for the current partner um because you know lilith has got you know the energy to withstand any type of provocation you know in, um in terms of their wound because they are strong enough through the transformative lilith that they have to withstand you know the challenges that they will have in order for them to heal but the chiron partner is the one who's really going to feel the process of healing and healing through a very disturbing um energy that is coming from within first of all and then also coming from their partner the lilith partner so what do we see here is that the lilith partner is going to open the wounds of the chiron partner in the most disturbing way and also depending on the house where this conjunction is happening because um if this conjunction is happening let's say in the 10th house you guys which is like what like a public life you know it means that the lilith partner is going to come and open up the wounds of the current partner in a public way so it would be more like a humiliation so it would be like that type of a partner who would just go and on facebook and be like oh my husband oh oh my wife is so fat you know they don't want to um uh lose the weight they are just eat and eat you know they are trying to help their current partner who is already feeling the weight problem who's already dealing with the wound maybe of the of their weight for an example but now the lilith partner is going to do it in a, in an embarrassing way you know okay so let's say it's not happening in the 10th house where it's public let's say it's happening in the 8th house where things are hidden you know this is where now in the public life this couple will seem normal but when they get at home the lilith partner will still embarrass the their partner chiron touching their wound in the most disturbing way trying to help them you know they pushing them okay go baby lose the weight lose the weight but now they're going to be doing it you know um psychologically in a manner that is very subtle very manipulative very um, hidden like yeah basically just a hidden manipulative way because it's happening in the 8th house and the 8th house is a house of um dealing with psychology with taboo subjects and stuff like that so it doesn't matter what ever subjects or what ever wound that this couple is dealing with or each person is dealing with the house will tell us 
how it's going to be portrayed. Is it going to be portrayed publicly that everyone knows that, okay, you know, these guys are having these wounds or is it going to be ha- happening privately, maybe in the 12th house where they literally can send each other to the hospital because they say they're trying to help each other, you know. Um, so, you know, this is where it becomes very different because when the current partner is opening and touching the wounds of their Lilith partner, because that's what the current uh, partner is going to do, is also going to touch, yeah, for sure. But they were, they are going to do it in a healing manner. No embarrassment. Um, no, hmm, no dark, yeah, no dark aura is, is going to be found from the current partner. But they're still going to touch in a most painful way because that's what Chiron does. Chiron touches in the most painful way, but with the intention to heal. Whereas the Lilith partner could be touching with the intention to heal, but also an intention maybe to manipulate, to gain power, to embarrass, to humiliate, you know. So this is where the intention um, when it comes to this healing could differ, okay, because of these um, differing energies, all right. So what we can also obviously see is that the two partners can relate to each other in terms of, you know, um, accepting that they both have pain that needs to be healed, you know. Um, And we must remember, in fact, that Lilith has a very powerful um, energy to transform because it's like Pluto. So it can um, transform this person, the Chiron uh, partner. But what we don't know is the end result because the Lilith could be healing and transforming, you know, trying to help the wound to heal. But because of the dog energy, it could end up making more wounds, you know, making more wounds, breaking the heart of the current, breaking the self-esteem of the current partner, breaking their image, their public image, their status, you know, but for them, they're thinking, oh, I'm trying to help my babe. I'm trying to help my babe. But at the same time, they're posting, you know, um, embarrassing pictures of their partner on Facebook, making fun of their partner, you know. But then the Lilith partner, you know, will be just in that dark energy doing what they do best without, of course, um, realizing that they're actually creating more and more and more drama <laughs> and more intensity because that's what Lilith does. Lilith brings intensity. Lilith brings drama. <laughs> All right. So, guys, this is actually how it would um, go, this conjunction. But a lot of care needs to be taken here. Um my my advice would be to uh, thread very carefully because, you know, even with the Chiron's good intention, they might actually make the Lilith partner to react even more, even in a more cruel way, you know. Maybe the Chiron partner says, you know, babe, you need to find a job. Being broke is not okay. Da, 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 da. Trying to help the wound of not having money in terms of, you know, the Lilith partner. And then the Lilith partner could just retaliate and be, you know, so humiliating, you know, saying, oh, you don't, who, who, whom do you think you are? Da, 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 you know, publicly. 
So just thread carefully with this one because the energies require a lot of maturity, that's for sure, uh, for, from both partners, to be honest, and uh, lots of nurturing, which will not come easily um, um, to the Lilith partner, but, you know, with maturity, anything can be learned. We need in this conjunction to be gentle with each other. Be gentle, you guys, because remember, you're trying to heal each other here. So when you're healing uh, someone, you hold them, you know, softly and carefully and, you know, you, you touch carefully, even if you even if you stitching them up, you know, you know, you still try to be gentle, you know, it's going to be painful, but you know, you try to be gentle. So guys, I would just advise you to be very gentle with each other, you know, take care of each other's wounds in the most, I don't know, like matured way. Let me just say matured, because when you matured, you will think twice about your actions, you know, you will think twice when that urge to embarrass your partner um, comes because you want to help them, you know, get out of their comfort zone or out of their pain or da 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 okay? Let's be gentle. So that's it, you guys. I will chat to you later, okay? I do